हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू आवर चैप्टर डिटर्मिनांट्स इन दिस क्लास वी विल लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए डिटर्मिनांट प्रीवियसली वी हैव लर्न ऑल द प्रोपर्टीज दैट वट आर द मैथड्स हाउ वी विल फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए डिटर्मिनांट एंड टू फाइ इन द वैल्यू ऑफ ए डिटर्मिनांट आवर मेन थीम इज दैट वी विल ट्राई टू ऑबटेन द मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल नंबर ऑफ जीरोज इन ए रॉ और ए कॉलम एंड टू मेक इट जीरो इन ए रॉ और ए कॉलम वी कैन अप्लाई द फॉलोइंग स्टेप्स सी वॉट वी विल डू टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ जीरोज और जीरोज इन ए रॉ और ए कॉलम इफ यू विल फाइंड जीरो इन ए रॉ और ए कॉलम आवर कैलकुलेशन विल बी ईजियर सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज वॉट वी विल डू वी विल इंटरचेंज द रॉ एंड कॉलम सो यू कैन डू बाय इंटरचेंजिंग ऑफ सेकेंड एंड थर्ड रॉज एंड इन दैट वे वी विल राइट वाइल इंटरचेंजिंग आर टू टेंस टू आर थ्री ओके इंटरचेंज ऑफ फर्स्ट एंड थर्ड कॉलम्स C1, C3. As we have learned in, uh, as we have learned all these things in uh, matrix chapter, we have seen how we will ch change rows and column. After that, suppose uh, that we, if we want to multiply with any value, so we will write in that way, multiplying each element of second row by minus five, and in that way we will so R2 tends to Minus five R two. After that, multiplying each element of first column by one by three. So in that way, we will write. Other is multiplying each element of third row by six and adding it to the corresponding element of second row. So that we will write in that way. R two tends to R two plus six R three. Then multiplying each element of second column by minus three and adding it to the corresponding element of first column. So this will be written in this way. Okay, C one tends to C one plus minus three C two. All these things we will do so that we will get maximum number of zeros in a row or a column. Now let us solve this by. let us see by solving some examples we have given the value evaluate 2 3 5 7 8 9 65 75 86 now what we have to do our main aim is that how we will arrange any row or column in a either we can arrange it as same as we have learned the property or we will try to make it zero so let us see what is here all the things we have written then here it is given uh, 2765 so if we will choose any value suppose what we will do we will apply c3 this one is our c3 okay so applying c3 and what will c3 minus 9 c2 so c3 will be 65 only minus 9 in c2 so this will be how much 65 minus 9 in c2 so we will get Two. Similarly, seventy-five. Then C three minus nine C two. We will get three, and this will be five. And we know that if two row or column are identical, then value will be zero. So this will be since C one and C three are identical, our value is zero. So what we will do? First, we will make our calculation easier and then we will solve other example we will see in the next class till then have a good day